I have written extensively on the subject of ice, snow, and metal roofs. To find that information, just Google for ice dams, metal roofing, and Todd Miller. However, I want to share that I feel that the potential benefits of metal roofing in terms of helping roofs resist ice dams are often oversold. What typically happens with a metal roof after a snowfall is that when the sun comes out, radiant heat from the sun passes through the snow on the roof and reflects back outward. This will cause the snow to slide off the roof, much like snow slides off of the hood of a car once the engine warms up. In fact, some homeowners will choose to have snow guards or snow fences put on their roofs to slow down the sliding of the snow or at least cause it to slide off in small chunks in order to protect doorways or plantings and statuary which may be located around, their, around the perimeter of their home. However, if snow does accumulate on the roof and the sun does not come out, then heat that escapes from inside the home can cause the snow to melt and then, if it refreezes on the home's unheated overhangs, ice dams will form, the same as they will with any roofing material. Ice melting systems can be installed with or on your metal roof if your home is prone to this. Sometimes roof geometry plays a role too. Some roofs simply by their design and shape do not encourage snow to slide. If the snow never slides, then there's a greater chance of ice dams occurring at some point. In summary, metal roofing does offer good protection from ice and snow, but it's not necessarily the end all and be all. If you wish, reach out to us about your ice and snow issues and we can discuss options which may work for you.